Hi, I'm Karen. I'm a fourth year vet student studying at the University of Queensland in Gatton and I'm working as a part-time nurse with Dr Elaine in Animal Wellness at Green Slopes. I was about 19 or about like when I was about to finish high school I um, started to um, thinking of being a, a vet. It's not like my childhood dream or anything, I wish I could say that but um, it's just um, you know, I was thinking what I should do in my future adult life and I decided to, you know, after I finished high school I, I was thinking what, you know, what course I should do in university and I like animals so I try, I worked in, in, a, in a vet surgery in Hong Kong for a couple of months to just to experience how it's like because you can't just love animals to be a vet or a vet nurse it's a lot more than that, you see lots of difficult um, situation that you were not, you know, able to imagine just, uh, or you wouldn't do it just because you love animals. Because sometimes you see a lot of the sad flat side of things being a vet or vet nurses, um, which would, you know, break your heart if, if you, you know, you love animals but you might not be able to um, handle all that. And we are the only holistic vet in Brisbane. We have very um, interesting clients and, and, and cases here because they're difficult cases most of the time. Yeah, we still see most um, cases from you know chronically ill patient, uh, you know, with chronic skin problem or cancers. We see lots of cancer patients, and they only learn about this when they ran out of options or they think all their treatment previously hasn't been really uh, working that well. I think it's mainly in we look at animal as a whole. Um, we still you know have our you know regular and I can't say it's traditional because <laughs> all the herbs and it's more has longer history than um, all the scientific stuff that we um, normal vets use. We still have that because lots of the time it's still necessary to you know give antibiotic to a you know, patient which has infection um, um, but other than you know just giving drugs and medication we um, we try to make the whole animal healthy instead of just say treating the symptoms we get to the bottom and um, you know, improve the general health of um, the animals, such as we'll give um, supplements or you know, B vitamins if um, Dr. Elaine thinks uh, the animal is lack of it. Or a arthritis patient, not only we would give you know pain relief, which they necessarily they really need it because it's painful for the patient, but would would also try um, some other. Um, treatment like acupuncture or gold bead therapy which is um, um, kind of like a permanent acupuncture um, an implant that you put in acupuncture point and that would relieve the patient in a different way but uh, it's more than um, what the traditional or regular vet would, would do so we try to uh, have a variety of treatment and um, not only medication. And every average day, especially with Dr. Elaine, is is, is crazy. <laughs> we we our schedule, you know, it's always on the go. We do this, this, this after this. This is a great place to learn because lots of the things Elaine does here. It's not taught in university, or uh, it was just lightly mentioned without um, going in depth, because we have so much to learn already in vet school. But um, there, there are a whole lot of um, different um, therapies or ideas Elaine have. Is um, sometimes it's really necessary to the animals, but we don't really. Um, 
get um, exposed much at university. Elaine is a very knowledgeable person and um, she's also very nice to her staff and her clients as well and she really put her heart into, um, into her work. It's not just work but she really intend to um, do the best for the animals and their clients as well um, for their health and their you know mental being as well for as a whole it makes me feel like it's, it's not uh, just a job but it's a, a purpose to you know to uh, make the life of many animals better it's not miracle it's just um, different treatment that it's not common um, say we, we, we would have a um, paralyzed patient coming in and Elaine has um, done you know acupuncture or um, um, in a tent with tense machine and after a few treatment you can see the patient started walking again and it feels like it's a miracle and but it's it's things that um, people not used to or um, treatment that it's not common you know especially if you're seeing such improvement in, in a patient you think it's a miracle but it's just amazing <laughs> um, therapy that we do here well because I'm, I'm from Hong Kong and it's part of China so um, this kind of you know Chinese medicine acupuncture it's always around me you know, it's it's kind of a, a a traditional thing for us to just take, you know, some herbs for your cold, uh, your flu, and but I I never have never known that it actually applies on animals as well, and you know it's just kind of my daily life, and then I just suddenly have this realization oh you can be used on animals, and it's just the same theory, and uh, and it works. After I graduate, I'd love to work in Australia still. Um, it is a lovely place to to work at, and, and people are very professional uh, in this country, in, a, in this bed uh, industry. To still have you know, Elaine's idea and, and belief, a general um, well-being of the animals is, is the most important and probably finish my Chinese herbal uh, medicine course. Uh, I don't mind working in with, with large animals but I'm still not sure and I don't have enough experience on that yet so I've been working in a small animal clinic for a while already so I'm hoping to expect to be exposed more on that side of uh, veterinary industry. Well, my humble advice because I haven't finished my vet degree yet but uh, I think it's re always really good to keep an open mind and expose yourself to um, different sides of um, this industry. D don't be afraid to get exposed to um, different things. That way you would know what your interest and um, passion is. Um, and it's same for you know this integrative medicine thing. Whole, um, it's different, a whole complete area in um, veterinary industry. And many people are not that um, exposed to to this area. It's just because we're not taught, and um, we, you know, they are. You know, only this vet clinic in Brisbane that does these kind of things. Um, you know, you, you, you get to know different things if you actually get involved and you, you, you can decide for yourself what you like or what you want to do after you, know, you get involved in these things. <laughs> you know. I think my motivation comes from um, seeing clients and animals happy um, it's really fulfilling when you um, when say a client thank you for doing what you have done to their animals and um, seeing them get 
better. It's it's very you know cheesy. Oh, I, you know I, I got motivated by seeing you know treating animals, but but that's really what it is about here. Um, the owners would really appreciate you when you you know put your heart there to um, do the best for them, and and that's really the most fulfilling thing that I. I I would come across at work and I think that's what keeps me going. <laughs>